right. So let's talk about two sets, two sets and techniques. So I would run as quickly as I can. So tools that I use as a strategist, I use my brain. And that's the most important tool you need. Like you literally need to use your brain. I mean, is there any job you do, you do without your brain? So you do everything you do with your brain. But the difference here is that as a strategist, your brain is the is the yeah. actual tool that you use. Because I mean, on a physical level, like there are times when I've actually felt headache just doing my work. That's to tell you that the, the tool is being used. <laughs> so um, yes, use your brain, your hands. Of course, um, pen and paper. I mean, I have a lot of notepads, like maybe up to a million now. Sometimes I don't even go back to my notepad to read what I wrote. It's just <clears throat> the best way to help my brain remember something or, you know, pen and paper is, in fact, sometimes I think more intuitive. Pen and paper is very, very, very useful. Someone said that bad strategies. What is that? Yes, yeah, the last strategy I worked on for my clients with my team, I had a date for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's someone that can relate, and that's that's real. Yeah, so you need internet. Um, of course, I mean this plays into the curiosity part of like you know being a strategist. You have to um leverage the most powerful tool known to man for you know accessing information, for accessing data. You know, internet is extremely useful. Um, as a strategist, you don't need to buy all those um, very heavy laptops, all those M2 and M1, except you want to be fancy anyway. Your, your work doesn't require anything so deep. Like, you can literally just have your notes app open a, a million tabs on your internet and um, what else? <laughs> and, and a million and one tabs open your brain, like, and you are good to go, you know? So um, for me, I use Notion and I use Miro. Um, so what I use Notion for, in fact, um, Notion literally, Notion became like my second brain because I could dump a lot of like thoughts and organize them properly. You know, Notion is a very powerful tool and I don't even think I'm using half of what it can be used for, you know? Um, and it has even gotten better with the AI right now. So beautiful one. Um, so I use Miro right now. So Miro is like a whiteboard um, tool. It's like a collaborative tool. And what I like about it is like an infinite whiteboard compared to like a physical board that would need to have a specific dimension. So what my what my room used to look like before was like, you know, you know all those CIA agents that we have, you know, different sticky notes and pictures and you know, ropes. So that's what my room used to look like before because I was constantly pasting stuff, you know, all over the place until I met Miro. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the reality of using something like Miro, using a physical board, for instance, is that there was limitation of space. And sometimes, you know, how can I update what I've written on paper and pasted? You know, where do I throw that? So I had to waste a lot of things. It was simply not efficient. And that's one of the beautiful things about technology is that as a strategist, number one, you cannot be made useless by technology. It's literally impossible because you are not working with your hands and whatever is available would only aid your ability to do what you already know how to do very well. So for instance, AI tools like um, um, ChatGPT right now has made my work significantly better. For instance, in preparing for this class now, you know, I was like, okay, how do I tighten up this content a little bit? So I went and I was asking a few questions just to see what it thinks. And I was using that to improve some of my points as well. You know, so I'm the author 
of what I want to say and the sense I want to make. But now I have tools. And the reason why I'm particularly fascinated and excited about something like AI, which I think would make a lot of jobs redundant. And in fact, more people have to become strategists. And here's why I think it's very important that you pay attention to like becoming a strategist, even if you don't practice it as a profession, or right? But you need to be a strategist in how you think, <clears throat> in the skill sets you have and, and how you approach things. Is the fact that AI is becoming extremely just way too smart. And then it's going to get to the point where only people that can, you know, establish a higher order of things would be relevant. So higher order of things, for instance, is maybe the ability to answer the questions of why. Like, why should this thing be done? Why should it be built in the first place? Like, we established for strategy in the first place. Like, okay, strategy is about picking a playing field and determining how you want to win on that playing field. Those answers are not AI answers. They can be aided by AI, but like, they are fundamental human problems to solve, right? And right now, AI just helps you to do a lot of things better because using your brain to do everything is very painful and tedious, right? Like the reason why you have headaches sometimes is because your brain is running a lot of manual processes. that are trying to, I mean, imagine this, that sometimes I have to recreate multiple of myself in my brain just to have an argument you know because i want to make sense of something i'm like okay i need you you, you are you are supporting you you are opposing and then i'll be making all of these arguments in my own brain and that's very manual and that's very inefficient but now i can do that with artificial intelligence i can just have that conversation and that back and forth with artificial intelligence we just which is better and more powerful than my brain because that tool is the combination of a lot of other people's brain combined. So definitely, it would outperform what my brain alone can do. So yeah, when we're talking about two sets, these are some of the important two sets you need to have. Um, and yes, again, the quality of thinkers. Um, quality thinkers don't get boxed into a framework. Yeah, like I also established earlier that many new strategies used to run to frameworks real quick. And you don't realize that, you know, there are some times that I've been with a client and I had a framework for how to facilitate that interaction. And in the middle of my interaction, I realized that this framework is not going to help me get to the bottom of what we need to solve for. And so I suddenly change the, um, the framework, like I reinvent the framework like on the spot. So if you're the type of strategies that you are just glued to framework, you are glued to specific way things are done, specific ways or protocols, you would actually, you would be useless in many cases, you okay? So frameworks are good, they are efficient. Like I talked about mental models, you can look at, you know, how other people have figured out how to think. A very good example that some of you might be familiar with is design thinking. But design thinking is a framework or a model or a methodology, whatever you call it. But there are some times that, you know, if you, design thinking is not exactly linear. Sometimes you might just need to do the first two steps in design thinking and move on to another type of framework. Like you don't have the time to complete. So you need to be flexible in your ability to use frameworks you need to be intelligent enough to come up with your own frameworks to solve unique and specific problems. But there are also tools, right? And then there are multiple tools, like they are just uncountable tools. And I'm sure some of you are familiar with frameworks like that and I've seen frameworks like that. Well, yes, we've talked about artificial intelligence as the future of strategy. And so thinking, Thinking is painful and manual process. I already established that. And one reason is not as enjoyable is because of this, this manual. But with AI now, we can optimize all of that. Um, what next? Yes, so, you know, 
part of this AI conversation is, you know, this, your ability to make judgment, your ability to discern things, you know, is definitely smarter than what AI is for now. I don't know where AI is going, you know, to be honest, it's scary sometimes, but, you know, at least this is where most of us will need to like, you know, operate in the next couple of years.